Hey, how are we going to figure out question number one? How many bags per day? What are we going to do there? Sure, because we're grouping, right? And division means we're grouping evenly. And so we're going to take those 358 burgers, we're going to try to group them evenly in bags of 12. So that, that's a division problem. That's how we introduce division. So for our first part, we're going to do that. We'll take our 358, we'll divide it by 12, and we'll work through it. So 12, 12, you got a 2, right? How many times does 12 go into 118? Nine. Nine times? Okay. How many, we got 29 with the remainder of 10. Okay, so we can answer both questions now. How many bags did we produce in a day? How many? 29 bags. How many burgers are left over so that tomorrow we can start on, our, on this process again? So in this case, our remainder is what actually the question was asking. How many burgers do you have left over? That way tomorrow, someone just has to make two burgers, throw them in the bag, and send it out. So we got 10 burgers left that are going to be started on tomorrow. And here's the question. Another question is, you make $3, uh, you make, what's a burger bag about? $16 maybe? $12? Let's say you make $16 per bag. These are, these are good burgers. <laughs> they must be. They're good. <laughs> Seriously good burgers. You make $16 per burger. I'm sorry, per bag. <laughs> That'd be crazy, per burger. You make $16 per bag you send out. Find out how much you make every day. Go you make $16 for what? Per bag. You make $16 per bag that you've created. So find out how, many, how much money you just made today. $16 per bag. How many bags did you make? <coughs> 29 bags. Each of them is worth how much? 16. 16. So notice we're taking either 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, 28 <coughs> times, or we can multiply it because that's repeated addition. What did I say? Jeez, I'm short with 16 bucks. I'm going to fire There goes my job. Okay, yeah. yeah, we are multiplying. We have the 29 bags. We've got $16 per bag. How much did you get? 464? 464? 464? 464 what? made four hundred sixty four dollars making burgers sounds pretty good to me now of course this is going to change every day isn't it because the next day you're going to start with ten burgers already and so the next day maybe make a little bit more uh, than, than you did today so that will change every day but for today we made four hundred sixty four dollars how many people feel okay with this long division and this word problem we just did good the last thing that we need to talk about in our section is something called an average have you ever heard of an average before? What's it mean? What's an average mean? An equal amount of a certain amount of figures. Be more specific. What? Well, say like you have. Or use it in context. Give me something that you've heard about. You buy, there's 10 houses out there, and there's a range of prices, and you want to figure out what the price most people pay for those 10 houses. So you'd add them up, and since there was 10 of them, you would divide it by 10, and that so, would be your average. So the average means, I, I like what you said, what most people would pay for a house. The average is like the most common value that you have in a group of numbers. So right. for instance, if I, said, uh, if I said this to you, what's the average height for guys? Are you going to say 7 foot 2? What's the average height for guys? Average height is Shaq's height, man. Is that, is that right? 
Average means what most people are. That's what average means in that case. Average price would be what most prices are. You've heard of maybe the median household cost or something? Median means the middle. It's a type of average. Today we're going to learn about the arithmetic average, uh, how to figure out that. that. It's called the mean. Uh, M-E-A-N. So it means the arithmetic average. So what we mean by average is what's in the middle most times or what most people pay or what most people are, what most things are. It's really called the central tendency. What's the center of the data? Uh, in statistics, you'll, you'll learn that. If you, if you get a statistics, I hope you do. Like uh, sports teams, like if there's like 10 games and they go uh, five and five, it's like an average 500. Or sure, yeah, sports is great with averages. Oh, I mean, yeah. they're all about averages. Batting average, you ever heard of a batting average? Yeah. Yeah, if you have a batting average of like 400, you're doing pretty good, right? ERA. Yeah, ERA, that's an earned run average. Uh, they have all sorts of averages, points per game average. Uh, that's how they rank kind of offenses, defenses, and football a lot of times. But the, the, the idea of our average idea of our average, I'll say it, say it one way, it's the center of our data. The data just means the information that we have. So you can think of it as like the center or what most things are. Now the next thing is, how do we find an average? And a couple people have already explained how to do it, but I want to write it out for you so that you know. How you find the average that we're talking about is the arithmetic average. The arithmetic average is you take all the values that I give you, you add them up, and then you divide by the number of values you added. I'll rewrite that and then I'll explain it. So how to find the average? You add all the numbers. You know what, I'm going to use a different word than numbers, sorry. I'll say you add all the values, we make things a little less tricky later. You add all the values, and then you're going to divide by the number of values you added. values, then divide by the number of values you added. We can't make it a little more concise than this. If we use fraction notation, what you're doing is you're taking the sum and you're dividing by number of values. So we're going to do one example together. <clears throat> do you know how they do drug testing? I don't mean what you... <laughs> Not that type of drug testing. Not, what do they call that stuff now where kids just go into their parents' cabinet and take a handful of drugs and pop them in their mouth to see what happens? You've heard of that? Yeah, farming. I think it's called farming. Like P-H-A-R. Farming. Because they go, oh yeah, let's see what uh, this and this do. It's super dangerous. Please don't ever do that. It's just so crazy. You're, you're going to die. Um, well, maybe not. But it could sure change you. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about here. You, you, whatever. Uh, what we're talking about is when they go out and they clinically test a drug, what they do is they have a group of people like you would be my group A people. Yeah. And you would be my group B people. And assuming there's equal number of you, you guys listening back there? Okay, because you're distracting me. Um, you would say, okay, group A people, I'm going to give you something called a placebo. Do you know what a placebo is? 
Placebo is a sugar pill that you say, oh, I'm giving you drugs. And you go, oh, okay, I think this is drugs. And you take it, but it's really nothing. So I'm tricking you. But actually your, your mind kind of tricks your body itself and you can actually develop side effects from getting nothing. Your mind is that powerful. You people, so I'm telling you both you're getting the drug. You I give nothing, just a sugar pill, and you think you're getting the drug. You people, I'm actually giving the drug, okay? And so you, the side effects you have are just from your head. Like you're just making that stuff up, basically. You might think you have it, but it's really just uh, psychosomatic. It means you're making it up in your head. You people are getting the, the actual drug. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if you're having any side effects. Like, is your hair changing color? Are you itchy? Stuff like that. I don't know. And I'm going to rate that on a scale, and I'm going to compare it to what you say your side effects are. Because if your side effects and your side effects are exactly the same, then there's no side effects. Right? Because the placebo people had the same stuff just from their, their own mind. If you had way more side effects than them, I know the drug has definitely has some side effects. You kind of get the idea. So this is what happened in a certain drug trial. Drug trial. They gave <coughs> drugs to these people. There was uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was eight of them. Sorry, seven of them. And they rated their reaction on a scale of 100 uh, as, as far as this one category was concerned. Uh, so it, it's either something like, did it give you a headache? How bad was your headache? And here's what people said. So they rated their headaches on a scale from 1 to 100. And the first person said, you know what? It gave me just the slightest headache. The next person said, mine was a little bit worse. The next person said, I had a pretty decent headache. The next person said, um, not too bad, but there was something. The next person was also not, not that bad, a little bit less. Then some guy said, I mean, I might have a headache, just a little, little twinge, nothing. And then this guy was like, my head's kind of throbbing. Okay, so he had a pretty good headache. A hundred be, would be like a migraine, like you just can't do anything, it hurts that bad. What's the numbers for? The numbers are the, the scale about which people rated their headache in reaction to this one drug, okay? So I gave you placebo, I gave you guys the drug, and you all came back and I picked seven of you and said, how bad your head hurt right now? And you go, out of 100, you go, a three. Or if you had a really bad head, you go, a 56. Did you kind of get the idea? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna figure out what the average headache was for this group of people. How we find the average is we're gonna add up all the levels of our headache. So we're going to add the 4, 7, 35, 16, 9, 3, and 56. We're going to add those together first. So finding the average. I want to know what is 4 plus 7 plus 35 plus 16 plus 9 plus 3 plus 56. We have to add all of that stuff up. Did you add it? Did you guys add it too? Okay, keep working on it if you're still adding, it's fine. 